Hi everyone, for part two of our ancient China dragon symbol inspired art making, we're going to make a three dimensional dragon with some found objects. I'm going to be using a paper plate, some bottle tops. So if you have any um, like old bottle tops, you can start collecting those. Um, some cardboard for the background glue, scissors, and any other found objects that you can use to create a two-dimensional piece of artwork. Okay, guys, well, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So what I'm going to start with is first, I'm going to get my background ready. And I'm going to find my bottle tops and I'm going to arrange them in a shape that the dragon would be in. So kind of a snake-like or serpentine shape as we learned about in our visual. Then I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to glue these bottle tops down to my cardboard. So with this one, this one's kind of big, so I'm gonna actually add a little extra glue on the sides since it's three dimensional. And these will help it to be 3D. Once I glue those down, I'm going to move that to the side a little bit. Then I'm going to find my paper plate. After I find my paper plate, I'm going to find either a marker or a crayon or some sort of drawing instrument. So I think I'll just use a pencil, actually. And I'm going to draw the shape of the dragon. And I'm going to kind of look at this and make sure it's about the same size. So I'm going to start with the front then it kind of goes up this way and then I'll actually have the tail sticking out like that I'll make sure it's nice and big so I'm going to go to this side now making those lines the same and to the, together at the end for the tail and then I'll actually draw a line here and here for the mouth okay after I do that then I'm going to get my scissors I'll use my scissor safety and I will carefully cut this out I'm going to save the other pieces of my plate to use in the bottom of my sculpture. Okay, so now that I've cut that out, I'm actually going to add some color to this. I need to get some crayons. Again, you can use whatever drawing materials you have available to you. Find a green, I'm gonna give it an eye. And then I'll actually draw where the mouth will be like this. If I want, I could cut out shapes for the teeth if I wanted. I don't have to, though. So I'm just going to go ahead and so what I'll do is I'll start cutting here. And I guess I can cut some pointy teeth. I did not in my other one, but I add a little more detail in this one. I will make sure that when I'm done with this, I'm being a responsible artist and I do clean up my workspace. Some little pieces, I'll put those in a nice neat pile in a moment. Get those off of my artwork surface. Uh -oh. Try that again. Okay. And I'll see if this kind of fits how I want it. Yeah, just like that. Okay. After I get my shape. After I get my shape ready, before I glue it on, I think I will add some color to my picture. So I'll color my dragon green if I want. I could give it scales, curved lines. I can just color it if I want. I can really make it however I would like to since it's this will be your creation inspired by the symbol. Some sparkly green here, some metallic green. I think I'll color kind of in between some of these scales until I feel like I filled it in enough. Okay, now that I've colored that, I'm going to then add some glue to the tops of my glue top, bottle tops. 
I'm going to use a little bit more because this is becoming 3D and I'll press down. So it kind of sticks out 3D. Okay. After I do that, I can use my plate to create a few different things. So one idea that I had with this plate is since it's kind of bumpy, to me, it kind of reminds me of the Great Wall of China. So what I could do is I could kind of trim some pieces off the top. I could even make it kind of like a castle line at the top by cutting out rectangle shapes if I wanted. If you don't want to cut out rectangle shapes on the whole thing, another idea is you could just use a lot of the, a lot of paper plates have a texture on the side. So I could use that to represent the top of the Great Wall of China. Okay, so once I get that how I want it to be, I'm gonna add that down here. And then I'm going to put some glue on this side so it'll stick out from the background. Again, kind of making it like a relief sculpture, three-dimensional, so you can look at it from more than one side. Okay, so I'm going to put this right here. Okay, another thing I could do with my uh, paper plate is I can make some dragon wings. A lot of the ancient China dragonflies, so I'm going to cut out a triangle and another triangle shape here. If I want, make sure that's glued down. If I want, I could use some color. So maybe I would get um, maybe an orange for the dragon wings. So I color that in with some orange. And then I'll add some glue to the side that I want to touch the cardboard. So I could stick it back here and it'll stick up like a wing. But if I want it to look like it's more attached to the dragon, I could also put it between the bottle top and the dragon so it sticks out from the background. So I'll add orange to this wing. Again. Add glue to it. And then I will put it here. Maybe right here. Okay. So my dragon has some wings now. It's flying above the Great Wall of China. And then I can go in and add any other details that I would like. Maybe I want to make the ground down here green. I could color that with a green. Under the Great Wall. If I wanted, I could also um, create clouds. I could use the rest of my paper plates to make some cloud shapes. And I could put those like in the sky in the background. I could make buildings. in the foreground. If I wanted to, I could use things like a paper towel roll. And I could cut that to maybe make a shape for um, something. You could put it this way to kind of make a building that stands out like this. So let's say I added this, put it on here. And then what I could do after that is I could then cut out a building shape, kind of like this, and cut out a build, cut out the side. So like I had a building here. I could color in that building if I wanted. I could give it like doors, windows, things like that. Maybe this will be the door. Windows, I'm going somewhat quickly so I don't make our video too long, but you could always color that in. Again, add glue here, add glue here, and then this building will stick out from the background. Again, being three-dimensional. Okay, so this is our three-dimensional art making of our dragon. See if it will hold up. It may still be a little too wet to hold up for a very long time before it falls down. But that's our three-dimensional um, dragon symbol inspired artwork from ancient China. 
And then for part three, we'll be making a two-dimensional piece of artwork with a foreground, middle ground, and background inspired by ancient China, China um, related to the third grade objective. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.